Okay, welcome back. This is, uh, we're still in section two, managing credit and short term debt, and this is the second video for that section. So, we ended the last video talking about um, credit cards and their balances and how you should uh, pay off the full balance every month and that carrying a balance over can be very dangerous. So, this is going to show you um, a little more as to why that's dangerous. So credit cards, carrying a balance. When you use your credit card and you do not pay your balance in full, the credit card company will charge you interest based on the balance that you did not pay. So you're probably aware that credit cards are known for having very, very high interest rates. Interest rates are on average between 14 to 24%, some as high as 30% if you continue to make late, late payments um, and, carrying, and carrying a balance, they can shoot your interest rate up. That's all in the fine print. Um, when you think you're signing up for a card, we're actually going to cover that next. And credit card companies can also charge additional late fees. Okay, so I have this video here. I'm not sure it would come through very well. Um, just while well, I'm recording my screen, but I'm going to post this in the same section um, of videos over this unit, and I, I strongly, strongly encourage you guys to watch this. It's such a great demonstration. Um, it's a great example of how when you're carrying a balance over, uh, how long it takes to pay off your balance if you, if you don't pay it off every month um, because of interest. So, Watch this video. It, it definitely uses great um, images to kind of to demonstrate exactly how this all works. Uh, so yeah, just watch it because it's really good and um, really explains a lot. Okay, so when you do go to get a credit card, if you ever choose to do so, there are some things you should know ahead of time. You're going to want to look at the interest rate and how long it's guaranteed for. Um, some cards will say they have a low or they're um, saying 0% interest, but then in the fine print, it'll say good for the first three months, and then it might jack your interest up to like 20%, okay? So when you're reading the fine print of these credit cards, that's something you need to watch out for. Um, and when you read about these credit cards, and as we talk more about them, you're going to see APR a lot, which is annual percentage rate. So that means over the course of the year, that much interest is being charged. Um, you also want to see if the card has an annual fee. Again, we talked about there are so many card offers out there, you should really try to avoid that. There, um, most cards have a credit limit. So um, say you go to get a Visa card and they give you a credit limit of $5,000. That just means you have up to $5,000 to spend on that credit card. You don't have to use it, and it's strongly suggested that you never reach your credit limit. Just because, just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use it, but they like to point out that it's there to kind of like give you that um, money that's burning a hole in your pocket type of, type of feeling. So you don't have to use those high credit limits. Um, look for the grace period. So some credit cards might give you a, a, a period of time to pay off your balance without accruing interest fees. So that's called a grace period, that kind of time period that um, where you're not charged interest. So look for that. Also look if there's any other additional fees. If you're late on a payment, are they going to charge you? Do your rates go up? Um, some will skyrocket your rates after one late payment. Some might give you like the first payment as like kind of a um, warning late payment and let you slide on that one and then the next time they might really get you so always 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 read the fine print of those credit cards to see what exactly you're getting yourself into okay let's talk about revolving debt the revolving debt is debt that doesn't have a fixed payment so um, it's usually based on a percentage of the outstanding balance, which is the money that you owe. And so for loans, like um, a lot of times with school loans and car loans and house payments, there's a fixed amount that you pay every month. Well, but with credit cards, they have what's called a revolving debt. 
So your minimum balance is calculated off your interest rate and your balance. That should say minimum payment. Your minimum payment is calculated off your interest rate and your balance at that time. So you could owe $30 one month and you could owe $40 the next month. Um, so the per percentage of the total owed at the current time, and each month that you don't pay in full, your balance will increase. Okay, that's why um, you should just pay it off in full, otherwise you're just losing money to, for no reason. Okay, here's an example. You have a thousand dollars of credit card debt that charges 10% interest. And the only reason I'm using 10% is for math purposes, to make it easy. You'll never find a credit card that offers 10%. Um, so, so you have thousand dollars of credit card debt at 10% interest, but your minimum payment is only $20 a month. So, if you, so they're going to really flash that minimum payment in your face and say, well, technically we loaned you out $1,000, but you can just pay us $20, $20 at a time. They want you to do that so they can charge 10% interest every month on the money that's left over in your account. So by only paying minimum payments, it would take you 63 months. That's over five years to pay off the $1,000. And if you use that extra five years to pay off your balance, you're going to actually be paying almost $300 more in interest fees alone. So that's how the credit card company gets you. They want you to carry your balance so that they can keep charging you interest and make more money off of you. Okay? That's just how it works. So that $1,000 that you spent on your credit card, it cost you almost $1,300 to borrow $1,000. So again, like go back to your friend. That's like saying, here, I'll give you $1 if you give me five. Okay, it <laughs> doesn't make sense. Um, so don't let yourself get in that situation. Okay, so um, for this, in this lesson, you do have a, a kind of a big project. It's called the Understanding Credit and Short-Term Debt. It's worth 80 points. Um, so for this project, you're going to either create a brochure a podcast or you can write a paper and in this um, in this project you will need to use the information you learned from this text plus I want you to find some outside resources to get information as well so um, I should also add to this list you can do like a PowerPoint if you if you'd rather do a PowerPoint um, but you're going to want to make sure that you are following the rubric. And I'm going to take my camera off here so you can see. This is the rubric I will be using to grade your project. So this kind of tells you everything that I'm looking for. 60% um, of this grade is going towards the content that you have. 10% uh, is going towards grammar and spelling, so make sure you're using proper grammar, proper spelling, capitalizing your I's. <sighs> can't believe how many lowercase i's I see. Um, organization, 10% for sentence fluency, and 10% for your resources, okay? If you want an excellent, you need to make sure you're including relevant, quali uh, relevant quality details that the reader, um, important information that goes beyond the obvious or the predictable. So kind of read through this rubric and if this is what everything you need to do if you want to get in the excellent category for all of those sections, okay? Um, as you're completing this project, I should be able to, to answer all of these questions after I'm done with your project. What is credit? What is debt? What does it mean to have good credit? Bad credit? What can that do for you? What are some average interest rates for credit cards? What are some average interest rates for other loans? What does APR mean? Um, what's the point of having a credit report? What's all on your credit report? How do, what are some suggestions for properly managing a credit card? Um, what happens if you don't manage your credit card well? What are some ways that credit card companies suck you in? What are good things or bad things about credit cards? What else can you tell me about credit cards? So I, I want to know everything you know and more about credit cards. So go find some more information. Do some of your own research. Include them as resources, okay? And um, stick it all into a brochure, a podcast, a PowerPoint, a position paper. However you want to present the information um, is fine with me. 
so just make make sure you're you're putting some good effort into this though because it is um, a big point assignment. All right, so this is the conclusion of section two. Um, now go take the quiz. <laughs> we covered pretty much everything that is going to be on this quiz. Uh, print off these PowerPoint slides if you'd like to have them on hand. That's fine too. Um, but go take the quiz while all of this is fresh in your mind.